Hey guys and welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mount a local volume um, to a container using Docker. So I'm just going to jump over to my Ubuntu screen and open up Terminal. I'm going to be using the same um, Nginx base image that we used in previous tutorials because it's uh, very good for demonstrating this. So um, what I'm going to do is just jump into the directory and you'll see the directory have a source folder and the Docker file. If we have a quick look at the Docker file. It's just from Nginx latest, nothing special here. We're just taking the base image. And if we have a look in the source folder, you'll see there's just an index.html and it just says, hello world, might still here. So the first thing we need to go ahead and do is just build the image. So um, docker build dash T, uh, we'll call this one hello world and a dot because we're in the directory that we want to build it in. So now it's built, we now need to go ahead and run the uh, container. So we're gonna go ahead and write docker run but this time, before we write anything else, we're going to mount the volume. Now, to mount the volume, you do dash V, and then a space, and then you need to do the local folder, which can be um, relative to where you are at the moment. So I'm going to do SRC, um, and then colon, and then the folder which you want to mount it on in your container. So we need to display this in the default Nginx location, where without a changed config, which is user share nginx html so it's going to mount source into user share nginx html and then we need to go ahead and do the ports again so dash p 80 dash 80 and then we need to um, just type the name of the image which we want to build so we're going to do hello world go ahead and click run and we can see nothing's coming to display here uh, so if i just pull up another terminal window and on this one we can just curl localhost and we can see the request coming through to that container it says Matt was here um, which is being pulled via the volume because the docker file was not actually copying any files into the container itself. Hope this has been useful for you. Thanks for watching. If you want more please subscribe, like or if you have any comments put them below. Thank you.